Hello and welcome to this video guys. Today we are going to look into the single tone design pattern which is a creational pattern that restricts the inst instantiations of a clause to a single instance which will be a global point to access it amongst the whole application. So if you have been working with Angular before, the single tone pattern is often used for services which are clauses that provide functionality to components and other services within the application that we have. All right, so there's a very simple way to implement the single tone pattern within Angular. It comes as default. If you haven't noticed, um, we can generate a service. So generating a service called uh, my single tone service. So we'll generate a service right now called my single tone service. And as soon as this is up and running, we'll jump into actually looking into the scope that it receives when we generate the service. So going here, we'll see something. The, the first thing you need to see here is provided in root. So if you have a service that utilizes provided in root, it means that this service will be provided for the whole application or the instance where we're running it. It also means that whatever we put here will be available when we inject my singleton service into different components. So it means that we have a single instance of this clause within our application. So now if we would like to, to test this out, we could go to the app component here. Let's go ahead and inject our service that we just generated. So uh, private my singleton, singleton service. And then we will just inject it here. So now we're injecting the service. So imagine now we'll generate a variable here called latest data or something. Uh, so here we can just set um, a string so we should be able to set a string hello world and actually let's do it like this we will not set the string right now we'll just have it uh, as, as an empty string here and then we should be able to change it from another component so here we can say this my singleton service dot latest data equal to hello world so we're essentially assigning the value from one component and then we are going to utilize it from another component that we have so first we'll call it from the app component we'll inject it with dependency injection and we will assign the variable since i already have another component called header component we can go ahead and do the exact same thing here so let's just copy the text from here real quick um, we'll paste it here we can just import it in the same way but here we will not reassign the value we just want to see that the value has been changed that we can use the value in the actual component. So we could create a getter in this case, and we could say get latest data, and this will just point towards the latest data from the service. So in the in the HTML here now, we could print the latest data. So we could say my header, and then we could go to app component and do the same thing. So here it, it needs to, we need to generate uh, the, the getter here as well, so that we can, actually print it in the HTML. So we can see that whatever I have in my header and app component will be the same. All right, so now that we have this set up, so we are printing the latest data both in app component and in header component, and they both inject the my singleton service. So let's put the screen side by side so that we can preview in the web browser. All right, so now that we have them side by side, we can see that the app component is printing hello world and my header is also printing our low world. So let's create some VRs here. So we're in, we're actually importing the app header within the app component. So that's why it's being printed. So we can just go ahead and add some VRs here to, to get a more pretty print. So my header, hello world, app component, hello world. So what would happen if you wanted to change it? So let's go ahead and just simulate something. We'll put a set timeout in the, in the service. So here we will in, sorry, in the header component and here we'll just change the data after say five seconds. So this my singleton service, we're going to say, we're going to switch up so that we have word hello. So now within five seconds, it should automatically switch for the both components that we have. So as you can see here, it switched to word hello. And this is because we have a singleton service, which is uh, the same instance running through the whole application. So when we inject it, we'll inject the exact same instance that we have in the different scenarios. So one instance for the whole application. And as I mentioned, this comes for free with Angular. So if you use the CLI, this is per default, something that will be added. There are many cases where you do not want to have a singleton pattern, but I think for most services, 
the single tone pattern would be the most trivial one. So let's talk about pros and cons of using this single tone pattern. So the pros are it's super easy to maintain and test. We can ensure that we have a single instance of the service throughout our, our application, which makes it easier to maintain and test our code. It's also improved performance. The single tone pattern can help by improving the performance by reducing the memory usage so we don't need to create new objects, unnecessary objects in this case. We also have a global access with the single tone pattern which we, we can provide a global point for access to our service making it easy to use throughout the application. So in this case we could fetch the latest data from two components and we could handle the changes from within the component. So when you change one component it should reflect within the other component. And the, what are the cons? There are actually a couple of cons with single tone pattern. So it's tight coupling. By using this single tone pattern, we can create tight coupled uh, components and services. So you would rel a component would rely on the service that's being used. It can be harder to modify or replace the service in the future because imagine you have 20 components listening from data within for this single tone service. In the future, if we want to refactor it, we need to look into these 20 different components that we have and ensure that we don't break any logic. It's also increasing the complexity a bit. So in this case, if we're doing it in this way, the singleton pattern would add more complexity to our code, especially if, if the service has some complex state or dependencies. So in this way, it was quite basic, quite simple, actually. We only fetched or really had one variable that we were using, so the latest data. But imagine now we have a lot of different functions and a lot of different states handling maybe we're fetching data from backend and we have dozens of things being done in this comp in this service it would essentially lead to increased complexity it's also more difficult to debug because if you're making a change from one component or multiple components really that can make this change how can we then backtrack and debug from where it was changed so there are complements to this. I would recommend using behavior subjects and I will also recommend that you start utilizing uh, other stuff such as, um, for instance, if you have a behavior, behavior subject, you would put it to be private. So you would, you would make sure that the, the variables can only be assigned from this service. So you would make this latest service private. So you would have private latest, latest data. And then you would have a getter for the latest data that would just return the latest data. So in, in this case, you, you can ensure that this variable only can be changed from within the service. So this makes it much easier in the future if you're going to debug and so on. So try to make the service data only changeable from the service. It could be a function here where you have a, where you have like a set latest data in this case. And here you can have one console output and you would always know that when we change the data, it's in fact coming through here. So we can easily debug what's actually going on. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. All of the best. Bye.